number formatting. If you look at this number here, it's just a general number. We've got uh, a number, full stop, then uh, they've got four different numbers after the decimal point here. Now, if you look at the Home tab here within the Number section, you've got the number formatting options. So you've got things like currency, percentage, comma, increase and decrease decimal. And if you click on the down arrow here, there's various other formatting options. So we can format it, for instance, as text, or as numbers, or as general, or as currency, or as dates, or time, or percentages. And uh, if we want more options, we can click here and get more options. Incidentally, if I right-click on the selected cell there, and from the pop-up menu, select Format Cells, you'll notice this gives me the dialog box. So if you like uh, the options that dialog box give you, then if I just cancel that for a second, if I right-click over that cell, go to Format Cells, here we are, we've got various options. So uh, within the Format Cells dialog box, you've got the number options. Notice you've also got Alignment, Font, Order, Fill and Protection. But if we concentrate and look at the number options here, as you, as you can see, let's say we want to specify the number, and let's say we want to specify it with a certain number of decimal places, and uh, you want to use um, a, a thousand separator, uh, then basically we can specify that from here. So if we look at this example here, it says format this number to display no decimal places. Well, we could simply right click on that, go to where it says format cells, go to no decimal places here, click on OK, and as you can see, that now number is that that number is now formatted with no decimal places. Incidentally, we could also use these options here, which is increase and decrease decimal. So if I wanted to increase the decimal displayed, I could click on this, which is where we were in the beginning. To get rid of those decimals, I could just click on this one here, which is decrease the decimal. So as you can see, there's there's different ways of achieve, achieving the same job there. This number here, let's say I want to display that to one decimal place, I could click on the decrease or increase. So if I click on the decrease here, that's displayed to one decimal place. If I click on the next one, which it says format this to display to two decimal places, I could click here, and there we are, it's displayed to two decimal places. Again, as you've seen, if you right click and go to format cells, from there, of course, you can always specify directly how many places you want. So. In this case, I specified six. Uh, in this particular case, it says click on this cell and format this number to display commas. So if I click on the cell there, and then I click on the comma button here. As you can see, it's now displayed. It's divided up into thousands, if you like. You can uh, get rid of the decimal points, of course, if you want to. That's a separate thing. But basically, it's divided up using commas to indicate the thousands. Uh, format this number to display the UK pound sign. Well, there you are, we've got a number. And if you want to display a currency, if you click on the down arrow here, you've got various options. So if you want the UK pound sign, in this case, I'd click here. It says, in this case, display the next number to uh, use a dollar sign. So I select the, uh, the cell itself, click on the down arrow, and from there we can select a dollar sign. It could be uh, an Australian uh, dollar sign, or it could be an American dollar sign. So dollar sign goes in and then finally it says format this one with a currency symbol in this case the euro sign or the euro symbol so click on the cell there click on the down arrow look for the euro symbol there we are and away you go incidentally if you right click on this and go to where it says format cells you'll notice if we click on currency here we've got various options so we can click here and scroll down so for instance there's all sorts of things here you can uh, have um, let's have a look at something unusual. Um, we can have all sorts of things. You can have kroners. Um, what else have we got? Basically, as you see, there's just about every currency you can you can think of there. So basically, you just select the currency you want. Uh, if I select this one for um, Nepal and India, it now, it's now been formatted using the symbol there. So as I say, if if using this shortcut here doesn't give you what you want, there's more accounting formats here, which basically takes you to the format sales option, accounting, and click on the down arrow there, and from there select the uh, item you want. 
or uh, the other way of doing it, of course, is just simply right click, go to format cells, and from there make sure the currency is selected. And again, you're basically in the same dialog box, just select the item you want here, and away you go. So that's basically how you format the, um, the currency options. If you want to display um, a percentage sign, then just simply in this case we've got 17. So if you want 17%, just type in percentage, press return, and there you go. If you want to type in today's date, so if we type in say 02-02-2012, sake of argument, press return. It doesn't look like it's done anything, but uh, if we right click on that and go to where it says format cells, you'll find it's automatically picked up the fact that there was in fact a date. And if you just move that up here, we got various other options we could use. So for instance, we could use this option here, click on OK, and as you've seen, it's now been displayed as Thursday, 2nd of February, 2012.